Alright. I don't think I want to play Doomsayer this turn. could easily see playing, see playing Doomsayer turn 4 to bridge into Azure Drake, though, after playing this, depending on what he plays. Oh, goody! Got a donation from White Stripes at a good learning lives from dragons, but enjoy my dragon control shaman. Ooh. Sounds like my kind of deck. Kinda of cool. You're gonna doomsayer me. All right. Oh, that's acceptable. I was gonna doomsayer you. When, when hunters are doomsayering people, you know the world is in a very strange place. But the this uh, dragon shaman deck, kind of interesting. I definitely like uh, Elemental Destruction Stormcrack for early game. What is what does this opponent have? Clearly high main. Do I just play my Doomsayer and say go, and make a guy and say go? He can kill it with kill command, but that's an awkward tempo turn for him. I think I'd rather not just play Sylvanas into, you know, potentially like attacking and kill commanding it or whatever with nothing on board. Deadly shot me. Oh, Kodo, okay. Alright, well now we can play Sylvanas. I have no time for games. Becomes another awkward turn for him. Here comes, yep, high main will play Chillmont into high main. Eh, that sucks. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of getting brutalized here. I can double cur Consecration, that then I'm probably just dead to uh, attack this in Consecration. For justice. Take six damage that way. Or ultimately four damage that way. For justice. Eh, I think I have to hold on to my quality Consecration though. To be able to beat. Um, To be able to beat uh, Call of the Wild. We do have a Forbidden Healing in our hand too, so. The end is uh, okay. I can equality attack Forbidden Healing myself, or True Silver both attack into this Forbidden Healing myself. I have a quality consecration for next turn. And I've forbidden healing myself up to nearly full. I gain 12. Like the problem is if I just if I just heal, I guess whatever, I take six. And then I'm just gonna equality consecrate them away. I, I take another six next turn. And I'll just heal to full. If he call the wilds here, he hits me for eleven. I was gonna thunder run at me. Okay. So I have to kill this, or else I just get exploded by Call the Wild. I think I can just equality consecration and play Twilight Guardian though, because equality is gonna be pretty bad after this anyway. My consecration's gone anyway. Oh, 
Oh, he has Ragnaros. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, my deck is actually pretty bad against Ragnaros. Okay. Oh, well. That was a good draw. But we are still in quite a bit of trouble if he has Call of the Wild. Ooh, we got a Houndmaster. That sucks. Okay, so his hand is exactly Houndmaster. Image. We need to find like Purian. Because I kind of need to cast this, looks like. Maybe I don't. I could keep her this, Corruptor this, attack this. If I just use Sarah Awakens, Corruptor this, attack his face. I'm dead to Kill Commander Bow or Quick Shot, plus Hero Power. But if I just, like, I, I set up Lethal next turn. Because he takes 9 this turn, and I'll have 9 on board. Yeah. Just don't kill me next turn, please. Uh, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna make a guy, because that makes, uh, Unleash the Hounds also lethal. So, no kill command, no call of the wild, no, uh, bow, no quick shot. Oh! Hey! Played around Unleash! Got him, boys! Every point matters. <laughs> that was sweet. It's always so satisfying when, like, you actually play around exactly the card they draw and win because of it. 